Hey everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. I uh, just wanted to uh, show you the results of this survey I've been running. Uh, lots of people, all 24 of you. Uh, the interesting thing is, uh, considering my group is really skewed towards MATLAB, and a little bit of R, but still Python is the number one choice for prototyping rapid trading ideas, or rapidly prototyping a trading idea. So that's a huge number. So to be honest, it didn't really surprise me, but um, I thought R would be a little higher than that as well, but uh, Python seems to rule the, the roost here. So my thinking is um, I'm working on MATLAB as we speak. Somebody sent me some new projects that are being used in Python. Statement was, if you want to work in DevOps anywhere, you got to know Python. It's pretty well standard now. Uh, and uh, this right here proves it. Not only that, uh, also for um, any type of trading related, Python is the beast. Uh, now, here's the thing. As I move uh, Hopefully, with the course I'm doing for futures options, probably down the line, uh, a lot of uh, Forex, um, other things. I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, a lot of it will be done in MATLAB. Um, but uh, a lot of that's going to be ported into C eventually uh, in, in a Linux environment. Where I really think if I was to use Python, even though I've made, what, three attempts at using it, not a big fan, but I figure I'll do one of these courses that you can get through Coursera or uh, iTunes University or whatever, um, to take one of those courses, learn how to properly do it, uh, especially from the um, development uh, environment uh, end of things, and uh, run with that. Now, um, thing is, um, uh, yeah, I don't see myself doing a lot of uh, Python specifically for trading, uh, with, but to use it in a Linux environment uh, as a scripting language, to me that's a no-brainer. That's where Python really shines, and Python shines probably, obviously, in the web languages as well, but quant in prototyping, maybe. But then to be able to take that and take that code and drop it into a live trading environment is a thing, tough thing to do, I think. But uh, I guess this will be one of my goals uh, towards the end of the year uh, to start learning Python and playing with it. Hopefully by then I'll have a, a better Linux environment to play with and actually have up and running and with hopefully live trading. So that's my approach, but I just want to show this uh, so people... Uh, this is just a, a random, all 24 of you, thank you very much for partaking uh, over the last uh, two days. Um, just goes to show that my theory is correct. Python does rule the roost, at least in this realm that uh, in the world of trading, uh, Python seems to be the king. Other than that, talk to you later.